Hey y'all, my name is Barbara Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I am recreating Ariana Grande's makeup look from her new music video positions. I wanted to do the hair, but girl, listen, it was a lot. I ain't never did no spook. Uh, so swoop. So <laughs> I have never done a swoop before in my life. So that whole process, I was starting to get frustrated, right? And I really wanted to. My main focus was the makeup. Okay, to be honest with you. Cause I don't really care for the whole swoop thing, like the whole step work thing. That ain't me. That ain't my style. But this makeup look—it's simple, but it's—it still hits. You know what I mean? So we're gonna recreate that today. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Please just like, comment, share, and subscribe, and let's get started. Okay. All right. So to begin, I'm gonna prime my face. I'm gonna be taking my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Mattifying Primer. I love this stuff so much. I haven't used it in a while. I've been sticking to like my Urban Decay one, but this one still hits. Okay. All right, so next I'm gonna fill in my brows. I'm gonna be using my, um, what do you call them? <laughs> Fenty Beauty Brow MVP Ultra Fine Brow Pencil and Styler in the shade Soft Black. Her brows, yeah, they're like straight kind of, I think, right? Girl, it's my face. <laughs> I'm losing my patience here. Yeah, she has a straight brow, but we're not cutting the edge. I'm not doing it. We are not doing that, you feel me? All right, so now I'm going to carve up my brows. Making them kind of straighter. Do y'all know what you're getting for the Sephora sale? I feel like I'm just gonna be, I have my eye on perfumes, like fragrances. And since I'm um, Rouge, I get 20% off and I start October 30th, I think, if I'm, mistake, if I'm not mistaken. I don't really have my eye on any like makeup products, to be honest with you. I'm definitely gonna get that um, Fenty Glow Diamond Bomb. <laughs> I have my eye already set on that. It's already in my cart. So I'm definitely gonna get that because those diamond bombs are everything. They are literally everything. I love them so much. It always adds a little oomph to the uh, to your eye look. Like if you're doing like a matte look, a matte eye, you just put that on and it twink literally twinkles in the light. I'm here for it. I love it so much. So it looks like like it, there's like a curve following the brow, I mean the the bone of the eye, whatever the occipital. I don't know, <laughs> that's what it's called. But um, I don't know if I should do the lid first and then outline, cause it's not a harsh line. So I appreciate that. It's not a harsh line. So I think what I'm gonna start off with is I'm gonna take my first what I'm gonna do is prime my lid before I forget. <laughs> I'm gonna prime my lid, girl. <laughs> Why is it not, okay, there we go. I'm gonna prime my lid taking my CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer in the shade D500. It's going to literally that much, a little bit more. There we go. Oops. And then just buff that in. So we have like a blank canvas for the eyeball. Okay. So I have two makeup um, eyeshadow palettes here, both by Morphe. This is the Morphe 15H Happy Hour palette. So I'm gonna be using this one. Oh, is it <laughs> am I even showing properly? I'm gonna be using this one. And then also the Morphe 15N Night Master palette. Okay, they coincide with each other. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I'm gonna make some shape. So, you know what? Just to make it easier, I feel like it's gonna be easier for me to do the lid first, okay? So I'm gonna take um, a dense, like a packing brush in a sense. I guess I'm just gonna take an eyeshadow brush, honestly. And I'm gonna go into my 15N palette and I'm gonna use, that's a very light shade. Let me swatch it on my finger, on my arm first. It's kinda light, it's kinda light. 
I think I know what I want to do. I'm going to go into my Laura Mercier concoction, set my lid. Right? No, no, we're not going to do that. Yeah, set my lid. Taking this fluffy brush from my Amazon brush set. I'm just going to set her. Because it's like her, the lid shade is like one to two shades lighter than the rest of her face and if i go into custom that's very light so i need to figure out what shade i'm going to use I might go into my morphe 39a palette because i feel like that will be the best shade i mean I have the best palette for me to use so i have my morphe 39a palette yeah okay so i'm gonna go into the shade bear I'm going to use a shade bare and mm, so much stuff on here. Lord, thank you. <laughs> All right. And then I am going to take that same brush that I used for the loose setting powder, go into that and then just pop that all over the lid. I don't have to be neat yet until I'm doing the outline of it. It is a very, 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 very simple eye look. I'm here for it. I'm gonna use my Morphe M222 brush and I'm gonna go into which one, which one, which one? I'm gonna stick with the 15H palette actually. Yeah. I'm gonna go into the shade 5PM and I'm gonna use that to out, um, do like a rough outline of i don't know how to explain it but it's like the curve of the eye like that okay <laughs> and it looks like it's starting from where the nose bridge ends so we're gonna go like that and it dips down and it goes out again Yeah. And I'm gonna kind of like blow it out a little bit so there's a little bit of um, depth before I take a, a deeper shade. Okay. I'm going to take my e.l.f. small precision brush, yes, and I'm going to go into the shade Manhattan. And then this is going to be the deeper outline shade. Y'all see the outline? I don't know if y'all can see it. <laughs> but it's coming together. It's just so simple. I love it. I'm gonna take this like pencil brush, kind of dense. 
Um, I'm gonna go back into the shade bare and use that to clean up the little corner here. Yeah, there we go. Now we're gonna do some liner. Um, she has a very, very short wing. <laughs> very short wing so we're gonna use uh my maybelline eye studio gel eyeliner in the shade blackest black all right i'm just pinching it so it's very thin because hers is not a dramatic wing at all it literally ends right about here <laughs> so we're gonna try to replicate that today okay i'm just going to dip my brush in there i feel like this would be cute with a brown liner but i don't really like brown liner on me so Hmm. For a foundation, I'm going to be taking my Maybelline Dream Urban Cover foundation in the shade 362 Truffle. I'm going to take a tiny bit. I love this foundation so much. It is the goat. And to blend everything out, I'm going to be taking my mirror, my Real Techniques body sponge. <laughs> okay, so for concealer, I'm going to take my usual, uh, my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Mond, and then I'm also going to take my CoverGirl True Blend Concealer in the shade D500. So I like to start off with my NARS for, oh, this one is finished. Good thing I have another. <laughs> I like to start with my NARS first. And then literally just add a little bit. This is just a buffer to be honest with you. Um, it helps my um, CoverGirl 1 blend easier because the CoverGirl one dries way too fast. Yeah, I don't move that fast, okay? I'm gonna take my CoverGirl and just pop it right here to fill in the triangle in a sense. Boom, per. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take my Urban Decay All Night Setting Spray. Ooh! This just helps me uh, blend everything faster, helps everything be more seamless also, and it helps everything hold for longer. Okay, cool. All right, so I'm just setting my face with my Laura Mercier concoction. This is both shades of the translucent and medium deep shade from my Laura Mercier loose setting powder. And then also, um, my ColourPop loose setting powder in the shade translucent for that tinge of yellow and it provides me with the perfect shade okay all right so while everything is like microwaving we're not like baking baking we're microwaving okay um i'm going to put on my lashes and i'm going to be taking these they're from aliexpress they're in the style e2 they look like this So they're like bad length, their eyebrow not doing too much, you know what I mean? Um, am I the only person who doesn't like to put on mascara before they put on lashes? Because every time I watch like a YouTube uh, makeup tutorial, everybody put it on mascara before they put on their lashes. I don't like to do that. I don't like it. All right, so my lashes are on. Now we're going to buff everything in and make it all look seamless, okay? So I'm gonna be taking my NYX No Filter uh, Finishing Powder in the shade Cocoa. And then I'm gonna take my, if I can find it. <laughs> Where is it? Over here. My Kabuki brush from the dollar store. Very top tier. <laughs> I'm just going to pounce it in there and then begin buffing everything in. Girl, this hair don't get out of my face. All right, so for highlighter, I'm gonna go into my ColourPop Innuendo palette and I'm gonna go into the shade morning after 
which is the bottom middle shape. Can y'all see it? Probably not. And to apply it, I'm going to be taking my It's My Ray by BH Cosmetics number no. 5 brush. Alright, so. I'm going to take my Morphe M431 brush. I don't know why I stumbled on that. I'm going to apply some to my brow bone. And I'm going to do my little... What it called? My liner digits, the little cat eye thingy <laughs> that I like to do before my eyes. Alright, so I'm gonna set my face using my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Pouncing it in with my body sponge. All right, so for lips, I'm gonna be taking my Sephora Rouge Lip Liner in the shade Molasses. She has like a nude lip going on, so we're gonna to try to replicate it, but you know, for my skin tone, obviously. <laughs> All right, and then next, I'm gonna take my NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in the shade Sandstorm. Like that's the perfect nude shade, similar to hers, but like deep enough for me. And then next, I'm going to take my NYX lip lingerie in the shade Corset to apply it to the center of the lips. Okay, cool. And then last but not least, we're gonna take my Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb in the shade Fenty Glow. Hi. <laughs> um, I decided last minute that I'm going to do a swoop, but it's not gonna be the exact same. I think I'm just gonna do a swoop to where it fits like that, you know? Just so we're like, the hair is at least a little bit closer to um, what, her, what her hair looks like, okay? So I have my hot comb on standby, my flat iron on standby. This is what we're going to do, okay? I need a clip just to hold this, there we go. All right, so all this hair, I'm just going to run a flat iron through it quickly. We're not trying to do too much. All right, so I have my ORS olive oil control and shape holding spray love this because it's a workable bowl so it's not going to make the hair too stiff i'm just going to brush it on i mean spray it on my brush and then spray it on the hair or you can spray it directly on the hair more than <laughs> there we go yeah okay there we go Flyaways are settled. All right, now we have to do this. We're gonna figure it out here today. I just need the hot comb just to flatten the part that, um, don't touch my forehead, don't touch my forehead. <laughs> flatten the part that I took from this side. It's not going over her eye. And it's like more of a relaxed swoop. Okay. I need to somehow get this side away. Right? All right. 
thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay. Then we're gonna tuck this under. Or come on, bring my ear forward, please. <laughs> tuck it like that. Bring the hair forward like that. And then how are we going to hold this here? We're gonna use a duck bill clip. I can't be bothered to use no bobby pins because my nails are entirely way too long for me to open it up. Come on. Come on. Okay, bring the hair forward. Period. All right, so this is the final look. I am feeling it. I changed it to like a cardigan to fit, for, to fit the vibe a little bit more, you know what I mean? So I am serving Stepford. I am serving, oh, hey, what do you do for a living? What? I'm married. Or, <laughs> or I'm serving retro with the eyes. This is giving me like a little bit kind of 70s, 60s, a little bit, you know, not the time that I would like to personally be in, but you know, she's serving that, okay? So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Okay, bye-bye.